About 26 years ago, we started an after-school drama program. We called it CAST, which stood for Claremont After School Thespians. And we started a Shakespeare um, play. Our first one was As You Like It. And we went off and got trained at the Will Gear Theatrical Mechanicum, as well as Noise Within and some of the local talent, and learned how Shakespeare can be brought to life by this age group. And we have had a lot of fun getting them inspired and excited about Shakespeare. So about every December, we audition them, and they get their roles, and over the break, they start learning their lines, and then we start coaching them. We have several staff that uh, also coach as well. Mrs. Cogswell coaches them and helps them memorize. She's a fabulous speech coach and uh, does a tremendous job. So there's a lot of people that come forth and help put these productions on. When I was getting my master's degree in education, I did my thesis on memorization. And when I was doing this, I, the research was showing that middle school children, it is completely inappropriate for middle school, to expect middle school children to memorize Shakespeare. That's what the research was showing. And I'm like, wait a second. For the last 15 years, we've had full-length productions with brilliant performances. We've seen it time and time again. These kids, if they don't know they can't, they do it. And that mindset, the chapel this week is on mindset. And this is a growth mindset. We have kids telling us what play they want to do when they're in second grade. That's so exciting. We're only doing Twelfth Night because it was requested. It was requested by the two girls who were in the play this year. They said to me last year, when we're in eighth grade, can we do 12th night? And I said, yep, why not? Sounds like fun, let's do it. And we're setting it in the 1920s. And the music, this play is saturated with music. And so I wrote a, a composition that goes with the lyrics of the play. So there's a, a brand new composition for this uh, play that the kids will be performing. <laughs> We always have to have a little bit of that in our Shakespeare. But at any rate, it will be a, a very exciting experience and it's very uh, rewarding when the seats are full. So if you can, please come attend. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you a couple clips from Taming of the Shrew. Have I not heard great ornaments in the field? Boom, boom, boom! And heavens ought to be thunder in the skies? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not in a pixel about a heard? Loud lords, neighing steeds, and trumpets clang? Entreat you stay till after dinner? It may not be. Let me entreat you. It cannot be. Let me entreat you. I am content. Are you content to stay? I am content that you shall entreat me today, but yet not stay. Entreat me how you can. Now, if you love me, stay. Groom you on my horse. Ah, aye, sir. They be ready. The oats have eaten the horses. <laughs> Will you give thanks, Kate, or else shall I? What's this, mutton? Who brought it? I. Tis burnt and so is all the meat. What dogs are these? How durst these villains bring it from the dresser and serve it thus to me that love it not? There, take it to you, shrunkers! No. Cops! Hey! Oh. And. I know it is the moon. Nay, then you lie, it is the blessed sun. Then God be blessed, it is the blessed <coughs> sun. But sun it is not, what you <coughs> say it is not. And the moon changes even as your mind. What you shall have it named, even that it is. And so it shall be so for Catherine. 